continuing now with KDK's debate between the candidates for Allegheny County Executive Sarah Inamorato and Joe Rocky. Let's go to Lisa Smith for the next question. Lisa. All right. Our next question is about diversity. In Allegheny County, the black population is 13.5%. The Asian American Pacific Islander population is 4.5%. And the Hispanic or Latino population is 2.5%. Those figures are all according to the 2022 U.S. Census. So what strategies would you use to make Allegheny County more inviting to diverse populations? Beginning first with Mr. Rocky. So when we talk about expanding our, our jobs opportunity in Allegheny County, that is a direct call to bring people from all backgrounds to Western Pennsylvania. We are an area that grew because of immigration and the opportunity for us to grow jobs and become a location where people want to come to from all backgrounds, regardless of whether they're coming uh, from the, the South American countries, they're coming from other parts of the world, or just coming from across the United States. We want all people to feel comfortable coming to Western Pennsylvania. We need to have an open and welcoming environment. My administration will be extremely diverse, the diverse county executive administration that has ever existed. We will focus on making sure we grow all populations and create opportunity for every population by focusing on the communities that have been left behind, by bringing resources to those communities, and most importantly, by bringing good family-oriented jobs to those communities. Thank you, Ms. Inamorato. So diversity, equity, inclusion, it's not a box that you check. It is the way that you integrate it into your administration. And I will do that. I, as a state representative, I helped found the Welcoming PA Caucus to make sure that we were um, passing legislation and deploying policies that would make Pennsylvania a more welcoming place for all people. And I will continue to do that as your next county executive. There are so many opportunities that we have in this administration. Um, it's everything from making sure that we have language access on uh, the PRT buses and folks who are signing up with Department of Human Services. Um, it's ensuring that we're looking internally uh, at the county and addressing if there is any wage gaps based on gender, race, or background. Um, it's looking at making sure that each one of our departments and agencies have a person responsible who will administer best practices when it comes to being diverse, equitable, and inclusive um, within our county. All right, Mr. Rocky, 30 seconds. So I, I totally support that everyone who comes should have the communication method that they need. We should be supporting them in every way. But if we truly want to change the percentages that you announced, if we truly want to make Western Pennsylvania more diverse, we need to start by bringing jobs here. And as we bring jobs, we will bring diverse individuals to work in those jobs and to grow our economy. It is critical to the future of Allegheny County that we grow jobs and that we grow population. Otherwise, we will simply continue to decay. Thank you. Ms. Inamorato. So I'm reminded of the report that was released a few years ago that said Pittsburgh and Allegheny County was the worst place in America to be if you are a black woman. And we have the power of the county budget to work with communities, to listen to black women and hear what they need in order to be safe, healthy, and whole and live a vibrant life and begin to address these disparities. Um, we will use the power of county government to invest in communities that have been left behind, to uplift the voices of people who have not had access to our government for quite some time, Thank and you. make sure we can actually live out our values. Thank you. All right, it's time now for the candidates' closing statements. The order was determined earlier by coin toss. Ms. Inamorato, you go first, and you have 90 seconds. Well, thank you all again for tuning in. I know I don't look like a typical politician, um, but really I'm a lifelong Pittsburgher. And um, in my journey to political office, I've always been honest about where I've come from and what I've achieved. And I talk a lot about losing my dad to the opioid epidemic and what that meant for my mom and my sister and me. Um, it uprooted our life, it created instability, we lost our home and our future together. 
And I say that because I have people who stop me on the street and share with me their experience and using substances and what it meant to be seen. I've talked to parents who've lost people that they, their kids who they love. And that's when we're at our best as a government, when we're connected to the needs of the people and people who are closest to the pain. And we have an opportunity to develop a government that is compassionate and connected because there are so many people throughout this county who are working really hard and not able to get ahead. And that's why we're working to create a county for us all. One that creates economic opportunity and shared prosperity. One that addresses public health and public safety in a meaningful and comprehensive and community oriented way. And one that focuses on creating safe, stable and affordable housing. And this isn't a one woman show, it requires partnerships. Day one, I will be ready because I have the endorsements of Governor Shapiro, our senators and elected representatives at all levels of office, our labor unions and community members throughout this region. Thank you, I would have given you, if you, you want to finish that thought very quickly, I'll give you another five seconds. <laughs> Tonight I'm asking for your vote, but I'm also asking for your voice. I'm really looking forward to what we can build together. Thank you. And thank you for being an excellent rule follower here with our debate. Mr. Rocky, your turn now, you have 90 seconds. Well, first off, I wanna thank KDK for having this event. I wanna thank Representative Inamorato for giving the county an opportunity to get to know both of us and understand where we stand on the various policy issues that have been raised. I was born on the north side to a family of six children. My father got sick when I was five. Throughout my youth, we did not have a whole lot of money. We lived on a fixed income. We used food stamps. Through most of my youth, we didn't have a car. And there were points in my youth when we didn't even have a television. I know what it's like to have a hard life. And I know that there are people in Allegheny County who have a similar situation. I will lead Allegheny County through the lens of my personal experiences. And I will make sure that everyone is considered in the decisions that are made through the lens of that young boy growing up, riding the bus, shopping with food stamps. This election is about three things. It's about crime, public safety. We have a five point plan to address the public safety issue we have in our county. It's about jobs. It's about bringing jobs to Allegheny County and creating a future for the people of Allegheny County. We have a six point plan to go and do just that. It's about not raising your taxes. And we will not do a countywide property reassessment that leads to raising your taxes. I am proud to stand here and tell you, I am a centrist who is going to focus on making sure we do the right things by Allegheny County. I know your mail-in ballots have arrived Time's or they're up. coming soon. I appreciate that you consider me and check Rocky when you vote either on November 11th or in your mail-in process. On behalf of everyone at KDK TV, the East Liberty Chamber of Commerce, thanks to the candidates, thanks to you for joining us. I'm Ken Rice, we'll see you on the news.